Alright guys, BLM here, back with a new video, and here we do have a video that I was not expecting to be making right now, where we are back talking about Survivor South Africa, the recently announced Season 9, Return of the Outcast, the first all-star season of Survivor South Africa, which, again, comes completely out of left field. I, I really was not expecting us to get an all-star season at this point. Again, for the show to be renewed one more season, not that massive of a surprise, but we are here on the precipice of the first Survivor South Africa all-star season. And because of that here, we will be doing a cast speculation video as I've done with every other all-star season of Survivor or Big Brother since I've started the channel. So again, let's do it. Before we get into talking about who I think has a chance of being on this season, I do want to talk about some more general opinions on this announcement, where, again, we are getting the first ever All-Star Survivor South Africa season, and that is very exciting. However, I will say that I am a bit underwhelmed with how they're approaching this season. Now, something that we don't fully know, obviously, right now is, well, one, obviously the cast, but also who said yes and who said no, and... Again, the big thing for me with this is why are they doing what is essentially a second chance season as their first all-star season? As to me, that's kind of underwhelming, especially with the show like Survivor South Africa that has had very strong all-star candidates as winners recently where and you have Rob Bentley, one of the best players in the history of Survivor. You have Graham, who's not too far away from him. You have Tom, one of the greatest characters to ever win Survivor. And to not have any of these people on the first ever all-star season for Survivor South Africa is something that I do find very underwhelming. But to even go beyond that, another really bizarre choice that they made here is that we found out that this isn't just a normal second chance season, it's also one that excludes anyone that made Final Tribal. Which is an even bizarre decision to me, where at that point we're excluding some other really notable figures. We got Ashley Hayden, who I suspect said no anyway, but still, I mean, one of the greatest non winning players in the history of the show. You're excluding Nicole Capper, who, someone who was an absolute lock to return in my eyes. You're excluding someone like a Sivu. You're excluding someone like a Jean. You're excluding. I, I mean, even Anella, I guess. Let's go is someone I wouldn't have been opposed to seeing back. Jacinda from season one, I think, is someone that they could have potentially gotten back. But there's a lot of people that they're excluding here that I thought were very strong returnee candidates. And I feel like, to me, that is a really bizarre choice to exclude winners and runner-ups here to where it does feel like the caliber of this cast is lower than that of what we would have seen from like Australian Survivor All-Stars or Survivor All-Stars. Now, on both of those series, again, the winners did get targeted right away. I mean, Survivor All-Stars is obviously very notable for that. Australian Survivor All-Stars, the first two boots were winners. On both of those seasons, the winner of the season was someone that didn't make it all the way to the end on their initial run. So again, like, I think this is like a more balanced way of doing an all-star season but i also feel like it lessens the prestige of this being the first all-star season which is something that i find to be very questionable of a choice from production now again like we don't know who said yes who said no I i'm sure they have a rough cast put together at this point considering season's supposed to be starting filming in january so like if we do find out that like rob bentele said no and like tom said no and Again, I suspect Ashley Hayden said no. And, like, it makes sense. That's something that fully makes sense that they would just drop the idea at that point. And that's why they're going with this approach. But, again, like, just from the offset, I do find that to be a very strange decision. Another thing, too, that, again, this is not confirmed yet, but something that I do worry about. There's obviously been a lot of speculation that they're only going to cast from seasons 6, 7, and 8. As those are the seasons that were produced by this current production team. Which I find that very underwhelming if they do that as well. Now, I don't think that's 100% locked in. However, again, something that if you notice on the logo, they do have three symbols on there. Which obviously I, I think symbolizes three starting tribes. But also could symbolize, again, three seasons that they're casting from. Which, again, if that's the case, that's also kind of underwhelming. Is I feel like there's so many potential returnees from season five in particular. But then even season four. I think has a few here and there and for them to just completely neglect the seasons before season six would be underwhelming as well. So I hope that they don't do that. But again, we'll have to see. 
And again, like I know this is like coming off as very, very negative, but again, I am very excited for this season. Again, this is the first All-Star season for Survivor South Africa, something I've been waiting for for years now. And I am excited to see how this season plays out, even if it doesn't cast the people I want it to cast. Because like, even if we're just doing season six through eight, with no winners and runners up, there's still a strong cast to be put together there. And I think it still will be a great season. But again, like I, I do feel like the prestige of this season is kind of lessened by not having winners or runners up on it. And also if they don't pick people from the entire history of the show. But with that said, let's get into the cast speculation itself. We will be running through every season of Survivor Star Africa, talking about who I think could potentially return, even seasons one through five, even though I just mentioned that there's a chance that they don't cast anyone, but we will see. So then let's start off with season one, Survivor South Africa, Panama. And I'll be honest, I don't think there's a chance anyone returns from this season. Now, again, if there had not been the rule of the final tribal council thing, I do think Vanessa and Jacinda would have been potential returnees if they were able to track them down. Again, Vanessa being the first winner would have been interesting. I know Jacinda still does have like an online presence. So again, like I think they could have gotten either of them back. But beyond that, like, so, just so many people from the season are kind of just AWOL at this point, where I would not be surprised if they don't even bother contacting anyone from these seasons. You know, like, an MZ return wouldn't be bad. Nico return would be interesting. I mean, even, like, a Gareth return would be interesting from a gameplay perspective. But again, I'm not really expecting anyone from this season to be back. But with that, let's move on to Survivor South Africa Malaysia Season 2. Where again, I feel like it's another season where it is very tough to imagine they would bring too many people back. Again, a lot of these people are just not really present in the current community. But with that said, there are a few. Now, some of those are like relatively early boots. I don't suspect that production would bother bringing them back. And you do have someone like a Hein who's probably like a notable figure, but someone that like, again, like are they really bringing back Hein at this point? But I will say that one person that I actually think is somewhat likely if they do decide to cast from this far back is Amanda, the third place finisher from this season. Again, someone that is probably one of the more likable figures from that season, probably one of the more notable figures considering it's a mostly a notable season. I think if they're going for someone from those initial two seasons of the show, I feel like Amanda is the prime pick to me and really the only one that I can truly see being on this cast. I feel like almost every other option is someone that I can't realistically see them calling at this point. So Amanda's the only one I would expect here. Now from season three, Survivor South Africa, Santa Carolina. Again, this is one that a massive blown opportunity by not being able to have Ashley Hayden on this season. Again, mind you, Ashley Hayden is someone that, from what I understand, LaRue Botha, the creative director of the show, has called in the past about potentially returning, and she said no. So again, would not be surprised if Ashley Hayden just didn't want to come back anyway. But without Ashley Hayden, I don't think there's many people here that even have a chance at returning. I mean, this was a celebrity season, and through that, I feel like it's just harder to bring back people from anyway, as I feel like very few of those people actually had real interest in the game of Survivor. And while there are people that, like, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility of seeing, like, a Sade back, or probably, like, a Proverb, or a Kaz, or something like that, really, there's no one on this cast that I see as a truly realistic option here. Unless they're actively going for having like one person from every season. Next up, we're moving on to season four, Survivor South Africa Maldives. And this one's a bit more interesting. I do feel like there are a few people here that I can definitely see coming back. If again, if they're casting from this far back. Again, I think it is a blown opportunity to not even consider Heike or Let's Go, both people that I wouldn't be opposed to seeing again. I think you also run into a similar issue with Santa Carolina with this season with half the cast being celebrities and through that someone like a Bonnie who I wouldn't be opposed to seeing again like I don't know how likely she is to return however someone that I think is the most likely celebrity to return to the show here is Roxy someone that was a pre-merge boot someone that was very likable someone that seemed to be a genuine fan of the show and from my understand has still talked about the recent seasons on her social media more recently so I do feel like Roxy is someone that is kind of a shoe in to return if they were to bother casting from this season. I feel like she was a casting choice from season four that did feel a bit ahead of her time. So again, wouldn't be opposed to seeing her back here. And the other person is a very similar case, and that person is Tejan. I am probably one of the bigger characters from Maldives, and I think he's probably really a lock if they bother casting from season four. Again, from what I understand, he is someone that is very apt to play again. 
He was involved in Battle of the Bush, the charity event that happened not too long ago. Again, he was such a massive presence on that season. Was again another casting choice that was way ahead of his time. One of the bigger strategic players on that season. Probably one of the bigger strategic players in history of the show up until that point. So I do feel like Tajan is a shoe in to be cast if they bother casting from Maldives. But now we're moving on to the seasons that, again, I think are much more likely to have people cast from. Moving on to Survivor South Africa Champions, where to me, this would be a big disservice to the show if they don't cast from this season. To me, Survivor South Africa Champions is a season ripe with returnees. And while, again, I think they wasted the opportunity to bring back Ram and Sivu, both people that I would like to see back, there's still people here that I think are definitely going to be in consideration if they do bother considering people from this season. First up, you have David, the fourth place finisher, who I think is probably one of the least likely of the people I'm going to mention here, considering I don't think he's super present in the community nowadays, and he is also one of the older people in consideration for this cast. But David was such an incredible character and someone that was a fun player to watch and definitely someone that I would like to see back even though I don't expect it to go well for him the next person I I think this person is a lock if they cast from this season like I I don't see how there's an all-star season without this person if they cast from this season that person is Avion now I think the one thing that would deter production from putting him on the cast is that there are a lot of similarities between him and Chappies who we will talk about but is obviously a lock but Xavion to me is the biggest lock from this season. I think he is, again, someone that was a big player, big character, notable figure from this season, and also someone that has so much potential on a return and is also someone so involved in the Survivor South Africa community to where he still talks about it constantly on his social media. Again, I feel like if they are casting from champions, I I feel like Xavion is one of the bigger locks on the board. Also from this season, massive character and player, we got Shane. Again, for me, this would be a travesty to not have Shane on this cast. Again, especially if you're casting from champions, Shane is someone that has so much potential in return, so many storylines. Again, got blindsided with two idols in his pocket. One of the biggest players in history of the show up until that point and from what I understand he also still wants to play again so for me Shane is someone that should definitely be in consideration next up a person I don't think is as likely but someone I at least wanted to mention and that person is Solly who I think is essentially kind of like the Rupert figure of this season kind of this really fun character notable character likable character not necessarily the greatest player a bit too loyal in the game but definitely someone that again like I wouldn't be opposed to seeing back I I think if they are going to cast a bevy of people from this cast I feel like Solly would be a good pick but realistically I don't know how deep they are going into champions here to really bring him back and I don't know how likely it is that he wants to come back either next person's probably tied with Xavion as the biggest lock from this cast to me and that person is Marion who again Marion is someone that is very active in the Survivor South Africa community one of the bigger fans from champions to begin with one of the bigger characters and players from that season again to see her and Shane back on an all-star season would really be incredible to see and I also feel like Marion doesn't really have anyone directly in her archetype to compete against unlike Xavion so I mean, maybe really Marion might be the bigger lock than Xavion for this returnee season so I definitely would like to see Marion on as well and the last person here that we're going to mention from champions is actually a pre-merge boot but someone that was pretty notable and I wouldn't be opposed to seeing them back and that person is Shona and another person that I believe was involved in the battle of the bush still active in the community still someone that I would like to see back but again I think this one comes down to how deep into champions they are casting and realistically I mean I think you probably have a few people that are in her archetype from more recent seasons that she would have the fight with that casting spot for so again I don't think it's super likely but at least someone I wanted to mention here and now we're moving on to the three more recent seasons the three seasons that were directly made by the current production crew and I do think no matter what there are going to be a lot of people from season six seven and eight on this cast even if they do decide to expand beyond these three seasons like I would be surprised if there is not at least four people from each of these seasons on the final cast, if not probably more. But with that, let's start by talking about Philippines, where again, like such a missed opportunity to not have Tom or Jean on this cast. But again, there are so many other great options as well, though. I mean, I don't know how likely this first person we're going to mention is, but I did want to at least mention Annalise who obviously was the third place finisher on the season. 
solid player. Had some fun character moments here and there. I don't know how likely she is to actually return though, but I would say that she's at least going to be someone in consideration. Next up, one of the bigger locks, we got Werner. I mean, how is Werner not in this cast? I, I think Werner is one of the bigger locks on the board. Again, one of the best players in Survivor South Africa history. Someone that doesn't really have a direct comparison to him archetype-wise. I and mean, maybe one person we'll be talking about later on. But like to me, Werner is one of the bigger names to get from this season. I think he is a lock. Also, I, I think Katinka is in consideration. Now, I don't think Katinka would really be in consideration if it wasn't for the fact that I do think there are going to be a lot of people from these last three seasons where, like, to me, she isn't, like, the biggest lock on the board. I don't think she's someone that, like, needs to return, but she is definitely someone that I think will be in consideration and definitely has this chance of making the cast. Next up, we got PK. Again, underdog towards the end of his run, really big player. Maybe not the best player, but still someone that was very notable on their show. And someone that I think will definitely be in consideration for the final cast. Though again, I feel like he is one of these players that probably does have a bit more competition archetype-wise. But if I were to guess, I would say he is a likely returnee. Next up, we do have Tony. And I think Tony has a good chance of returning as well. I mean, she is again, another one of these more prominent figures in the Survivor of Africa community. She is a solid player, not necessarily the greatest player in the world, but like definitely has some strategic acumen to her. If Varner is going to be back, I think there is an interesting dynamic between those two that you can play up on a return. I mean, Tony is someone that I definitely would not be opposed to seeing back. And I think she's definitely in consideration here. Next up, one of the bigger locks on the board. I mean, really, I, I can't imagine they do this season without her. We have Plessa. I mean, Plessa, again, one of the bigger fan favorites in the history of the show. Again, massive player, great character. Don't see how they do the season without Plessa. I think this should be a shoe in Next up, probably someone that's a bit of a dark horse in terms of making the cast, but I can definitely see a chance of this person being someone that sneaks into the cast itself, and that person is Shawnee who is someone that I have always liked, and is someone that I do think would have potential on a return. However, I'm a bit unsure if they would really consider her. I think she's kind of in a weird spot where she's not necessarily like a pre-merge boot, where I think with that, there's a lot of storylines to build up coming into a second season, but also isn't a person that made the end game either. Again, she's a mid-game boot that wasn't like a massive fan favorite. So because I do feel like she's going to struggle to make the cast, but I at least wanted to mention her as someone that could potentially make it. And just in comparison to her, next up we're going to talk about Josie, who was a pre-merge boot, and I feel like probably has a better story than Shawnee for a return, despite the fact that she didn't make it as far. Again, Josie is a person that was a massive underdog on the season, was someone that scraped by a lot of tribals, and was the final person voted out before the merge, and I feel like through that probably has more of a story for a return. Again, like Josie's actually someone that, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about coming in to the prep process for this video. But when I thought about it a bit more, like I think Josie definitely has some potential. If she were to return, I think it is a question if she's still on production's radar, as I do feel like there are other pre-merge boots that I could see production picking over her, but Josie's definitely someone I would not be opposed to seeing back. Next up, another pre-merge boot from this season, we do have Tevin. And if this had been like immediately after his boot episode aired, I, I feel like Tevin would have been an absolute lock. I mean, I, I think, Tevin is someone that's so ripe to be brought back. Again, big player, big character, has a redemption arc. And especially if you're having PK on the cast as well, to have Tevin alongside him, build up that rivalry. I, I think there's a lot of potential there. However, again, I do know there was a bit of a controversy surrounding him by the end of his season that could deter production away from putting him on. Now, from what I understand, that controversy has kind of been cleared up since then, but the fact that it happened at all, I, I think, is something that might deter production away from picking him. But I, I think, in general, he is someone I definitely do expect to see on this cast. And a final person from South Africa, Philippines, that I am going to mention here is Ace. Who, again, is a very early pre-merge boot, which is a bit of a worry for his returning chances. But he was such a notable figure on this season. Again, the person that caused the rock draw in episode 2. Got a massive amount of screen time. Definitely someone that has an arc for a return and someone that I wouldn't be surprised if he were to make the final cast. Now let's move on to season seven, Island of Secrets. And I think this is a great cast. Again, like, even though this is probably the weakest season of the three recent ones, 
I do think this probably has the cast that's the most ripe for returnees. Problem is that three of those returnees are the people that made Final Tribal. Again, I think Rob and Nicole in particular are two of the bigger locks on the board had that rule not been in place. Again, two of the best players in the history of the show and two of the most notable figures in the history of the show. So to have them not in consideration here does feel like a massive loss for this season. Even Doral, I mean, it's Doral, but still... I think it would have been interesting to see him back. But without those people, there's still a decent amount of people that I could see returning from this season. I mean, first up, we got Steffi, fifth place finisher on the season. Now, again, I think there's a lot lost here from not being able to bring back Nicole to have their rivalry on a return. But still, I think Steffi is definitely someone that, even though she did annoy me at points on the season, I think could easily be a shoe in for this all-star season. Again, someone that I, I think definitely has an arc for a return here. So... She is definitely in consideration. Also, I think Mike is going to be in consideration, the sixth place finisher from this season. And someone that's still active in the South Africa community, someone that is very knowledgeable about the game, someone that was a likable underdog by the end of his run. Definitely someone that I could see being asked back as well. Next person, probably one of the bigger locks on the board to me, and that person is Jacques. I, I think Jacques is so primed to come back for this season. I really don't see how they don't bring back Jacques, considering how big of a fan he is, how much of a returning storyline he has. And again, another person that is a big player, so I think Jacques is definitely someone to bring back here. Next up, probably someone that isn't as guaranteed to return as the last few people we talked about, but definitely someone I think has a chance, and that person is Kobus who was a notable figure early on in his game. I mean, his edit towards the end there kind of peters out a bit, and I don't think he really ends up being the player that I really wanted him to be by the end of it, but definitely someone that I think could be brought back and could have a redemption arc on return, so I think he's in consideration. Another person kind of in that ballpark, but probably a little bit more likely to return is Dante, who I've never been a massive Dante fan, but I do feel like production seems to like him. Though I do feel like he has this unique aesthetic and also is one of the more blatant like providers for his tribe in recent history. And I feel like that could be something that makes him stand out for them to bring him back here. Next up, another one that probably the bigger locks on the board to return. We do have Sipe, who, again, like if this was a melee after season, I think there's no chance they do an all-star season without Sipe. I will say now there's at least a sliver of a chance they don't. But I do think Sipe is a very likely returnee. Again, very likable. Someone that was looked at as a pretty clear front runner before her blind side. Definitely someone I'd see returning on this season. And now, obviously, we're getting into some earlier boots. But I think these are all people that, while not as locked in to return as some of the people we just talked about, I think definitely have a chance. I mean, first up, we got Jeffrey, who... I think could be a dark horse here in terms of returning. I mean, someone that seemed to have a lot of potential on his first season kind of gets caught out of the numbers by the time the merge and kind of gets taken out by Rob. And I, I feel like Jeffrey's one of these people that would have a great arc on a return. I feel like he could definitely do well. So I would definitely consider him here. Another person I thought had a lot of potential from last time is Meryl, who, again, I, I would really like to see Meryl back. I, I think Meryl... Could be an interesting attorney, especially if you bring her back along with Dante. I think that could be an interesting storyline of their relationship on a return. Again, definitely not a massive lock to return here, but someone that I could see at least being in consideration. Next up, if we can't have Rob, I would not be opposed to having Nathan back on the season. Like, Nathan's not someone that I, like, absolutely need to see play Survivor again. And I think having him on a season with Rob would be a bit much with them being very similar archetype wise and also being very close. That kind of makes seeing their relationship again kind of stale. But like, again, without Rob, I think Nathan could be a very interesting returnee. Definitely seemed like a competent player while out there if it wasn't for the fact that he was injured. And it's definitely someone that I wouldn't be opposed to seeing back here. Another earlier boot we're going to talk about here is Tanya and... Tanya is an interesting one because I'll be honest, I kind of forgot Tanya existed as well before doing the prep for this video. But Tanya is actually someone that, again, like was a massive character on this season. Is essentially the South Africa version of Debbie from Survivor US. And again, it wouldn't be a massive surprise to see her back considering how big of a character she is. But again, there's the worry of obviously her being kind of forgotten at this point. And the final person from season seven that I will be talking about here is Ting Ting, who is someone that is a very early boot but is also someone that I think demonstrated a lot of potential in the game, seems like a very savvy strategic thinker, and is someone that I think could be 
brought back as this like early boot that had a lot of potential i think would have a very interesting story on the return to see her along with jock as well would also be interesting so again i think ting ting is someone that i wouldn't be opposed to seeing back and now let's finally move on to survivor south africa season eight we do have immunity island the latest season of the show and again i think this season's gonna have a lot of returnees from it now i actually don't have as many contenders here as with season seven but I think there are a lot bigger locks on the board with season eight here. And we're starting off with probably the biggest lock on the board of this entire cast, and that is Chappies. Now, the only thing I can see stopping Chappies from being on this season is his newborn and that potentially stopping him. But really, it's like I don't see any other possibility that Chappies is not in this season. Like, it, it would feel weird to me if they did this season without Chappies. Like, it would really make no sense to me. And I feel like Chappies is the biggest lock on the board. I see no way he doesn't return here. Next up, obviously a big contender here, we got Tyson, who again is probably one of the bigger players from last season, really notable figure, obviously has a rivalry with Chappies, I think that would be a really interesting on the return. Now I will say that I think inherently he's probably not the most riveting TV in comparison to some of the other choices that they have, and I do feel like he is someone that, again, kind of fits into an archetype that we probably have other options on the board but like realistically i think tyson is a very likely returnee especially coming from the latest season of the show so i do think he is someone very likely to come back especially because i mean the next person and that person is kieran and i think kieran is probably a lock and kieran is again debatably the best player of that season someone that ends up being a fan favorite which was a bit of a surprise to me again i didn't really see that coming but he did end up in contention for the fan favorite award and really i think kieran should be a lock to return if he wants it and i do think if they are bringing him back and bring back tyson would make sense as well as i do think their dynamic would be interesting to see on return so i do think kieran is a likely returnee as well next up again another one of the bigger locks on the board if she wants it and that is santoni i don't see how they do this season without santoni i mean it would blow my mind massive character massive player obvious pick to return next up another pretty big lock on the board to me and that is anesu and anesu is again another player big player big character massive potential in the game someone that i think is going to be very dangerous on a return but again i i think considering how blatantly dangerous she is that could make her not that dangerous on a return but either way i i think anesu is someone that should be primed to return here Again, especially coming from the latest season, I think she's someone that we're definitely going to see back. Next up, we someone that I'm not as confident in returning. Again, those previous five that we just talked about, like I, I feel like they're almost all locks. This next person, I think, is a bit more of a question mark, but I do think they have an interesting story for a return. That person is Amy. Now, Amy obviously gets screwed over by Ty Destinies, and is someone that is a strategically savvy player, and I feel like those two things are enough for her to at least be in consideration. Now, again, I don't think she's an absolute lock. I think there are other people in her archetype that will be competing for the same spot, but I do feel like Amy is someone that I could definitely see them bringing back. And the same thing goes with Rainier. Now, Rainier is also in contention for the fan favorite award, which I do think increases his chances of coming back. Again, another person kind of screwed over by Ty Destinies massive player on the season i think my one worry is the fact that i think archetype wise we already have Werner and we already have Jacques, who i think are two people that he's kind of like the mix of and at the point that we already have those two other people who i think are probably two bigger locks i think like at that point do we need rainier but rainier is still someone that i do expect to see back especially considering how passionate he is about the game and definitely someone that i would like to see back as well and now we're getting to the pre-merge boots. Just a couple here that I think could be in consideration. First up, we got Dino, who, again, didn't have a great showing on the season. But again, is someone that is a massive fan of the show. Someone I would expect would want to play again. And it's someone that is still very active in the community. So again, Dino is someone that I definitely could see in consideration. Also, I think Carla is in consideration as one of the more notable pre-merge boots from last season definitely not as big of a guarantee again i think she's fighting with a couple other people for this like early boot spot but definitely someone i personally wouldn't mind seeing back and the last person we're going to mention here is someone that i don't know how likely they are to return but they're still pretty active in the community and i, I wouldn't be surprised if they want to give this person another shot and that person is Teresa who i mean i i've been notably very low on Teresa's potential in the game but 
I do still feel like she was a notable character in the pre-merge of her season and is definitely someone that I wouldn't be surprised to see them consider. But there we go. I mean, those are essentially all the people that I can realistically see in consideration for Survivor South Africa, Return of the Outcast, which I didn't even mention. Like, what a ridiculous name, especially for your first All-Star season, but whatever. Again, I am excited for this season, no matter how it plays out. I mean, again, to have All-Stars coming back, definitely not something I was expecting at this point, but something I'm very happy to see. Again, still underwhelmed that we're not going to get Rob and Graham on the same season going against each other, not going to be able to see Nicole Capper back or some of these other more notable figures, but still, I mean, like, based on the casting pool they have to work with, I still think there is a lot of potential for a really great cast to be put together here. So, yeah, I mean, that's the cast speculation here. Obviously, I will be covering the season itself next year. We know it starts in July, so can expect a preseason power ranking, probably, and then midseason power ranking review player ranking like always also if we do get a leaked cast at some point then again i'll probably do a cast reaction video to that as well though obviously that's not a hundred percent guarantee that's gonna happen but i mean considering the track record of all-star seasons and cast leaks like i feel like it's probably gonna happen so again whenever it happens expect a reaction video as well but for now that is the video thank you for watching